I've always wanted to just give baseball my all. And I was ready to show all the scouts, show the world who I really am, and just wasn't able to. My name is Cedric Rose. I've been playing baseball about the age of four. I wanted to be a professional baseball player. It's my passion, it's everything I think about when I wake up. It's what I've done my whole life and what I've surrounded everything by. A lot of throwback stuff here. Yeah, back when I had super long hair. I played third base for UMass Lowell my first year here. Played first base my second year here. When everything was going well, it was probably the best team I've ever been a part of. Kiss it, goodbye! A three-run home run for Cedric Rose. And the Cedric Rose was considered an excellent player. He was a starter. He's caught by Rose. Rose throws to second base, and he's out. The double play. Cedric Rose, that might have been the play of the year. Last season, he had an 18-game hitting streak, and he also made the New England Collegiate Baseball League All-Star team. Far deep to left field. That's up in the jet stream. It's not coming back. A home run for Cedric Rose on the first pitch that he saw. Kenneth Herring, by all accounts, is a successful coach. He's been at the school for 19 seasons. But Rose sees the coach as racially insensitive. So how do you feel about all this? It hurts every day that I'm not allowed to, that I, I just can't play baseball. I started keeping this diary in the spring of 2021. There was a lot of stuff that was getting to me. I didn't really know how to deal with it. He had complained in his diary in one entry about a t-shirt that said equality. He was mystified by another exchange where the coach allegedly talked about politics with him. Then there's the exchange where the coach supposedly complained about Rose's going to a student athlete of color affinity group. He's the one who writes our lineups. He's the one who has all the power, all the control. There's nothing I can do about that. So I decided the best thing to do is just write to myself. According to Rose, one of his roommates shared the content of his diary with the coach. On February 8th, Rose says he received a text message from the coach demanding that they meet. Ken sits down, he looks at me, he stares me in the eyes, he gets comfortable in his seat and he says, okay, let's get transparent. And then out of his mouth, the next words are, do you think I'm racist? If you're gonna come and ask that question, you can't be afraid of the answer I'm gonna give you. So I told him, I said, honestly, Ken, like, I don't think you're racist, but I do think you're prejudiced. Rose said he left that meeting really upset and angry, went home, punched a hole in the wall of his apartment. The bottom line is, my son had to keep a journal. See, everybody looks past that. The journal. Why does he have to keep a journal over the racist things that a coach has said to him? When Cedric called me and said, Mom, you're not going to be happy, but I could hear it in his voice how hurt he was. Like his dreams and goals from the time he was two years old in the crib hitting his little baseball were just shattered. Everything just got taken away all at once. And I genuinely, for a period of time, didn't think I was going to play baseball again. At one point, I was trying to find like a full-time career, doing all the job searches and stuff, figuring out what the heck I can do with my life from here on out. Like, done with college. What do I do now? He did find out upon graduation that he would be playing with a summer league. The Summer League offers him an opportunity to be seen by scouts and recruiters. Right now, you know, we're taking it day by day, trying to get better, show my ability, show what, what kind of player I am. I've grown a lot from this. It's helped me a lot. I still always want to play and be the best.
I believe I have what it takes. I believe I, I can show the world one day that, that I can do it.